Hi everyone, let's talk about Stewart's theorem for triangles. The setup involves what we call a Chevian. So let's say we have a triangle. Let's call it A, B, C. And a Chevian is a line segment like this, that where one vertex is on a vertex of the triangle and the other vertex is on the opposite side here we'll call this endpoint D. And for convenience, we're going to label the points. So this side is going to be B, this side is C. We're going to call the Chevian D. This side over here is A. And we're going to call BD M. And we're going to call DC N. So those are the six line segments that we're going to be dealing with. And we want to know what D is equal to in terms of A, B, C, M, and N. And interestingly, we can find a formula in terms of radicals. So let's do it. What we're going to be using is the cosine law. So let's call this angle over here theta and this angle over here phi. So angle ADB is theta and angle ADC is phi. These are pretty common names for angles using Greek letters. Now we're going to use the cosine law. First of all, using it on angle ADB, we get that d squared plus m squared minus 2dm times cos theta is equal to c squared. So that's the first application. And then applying it to angle ADC, we find that d squared plus n squared minus 2dn times cos of phi is equal to b square. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the fact that theta is equal to pi or 180 degrees minus phi. So that means the cosine of theta is equal to the cosine of pi minus phi, which is equal to negative cosine of phi. So now we can substitute in these formulas that we have derived in terms of the cosine law. So let's do that. We find that cos theta is equal to d square plus m square minus c square over 2dm and that's equal to negative cos of phi and that by the second equation is equal to negative of d square plus n square minus b square divided by 2dn and don't forget the negative sign here that's important so that negative sign turns us into b square minus d square minus n square over 2dn. Now we have this on the left side and this on the right side. So we can get rid of 2dn from both, both sides. And now we're going to cross multiply. So we get d square plus m square minus c square times n is equal to b square minus d square minus n square times m. So let's expand it out. We get d square n plus m square n minus c square n is equal to b square m minus d square m minus n square m. Let's put things on different sides according to the signs. So we get d square m plus n plus m n m plus n is equal to b square m plus c square n. And remember, m plus n is equal to a. I'll scroll up so that you can see the diagram again over here. So m plus n is equal to a. So we can write this as d square a plus m n a 
is equal to b square m plus c square n. At, at this point, you can see how to isolate d. So if we were to isolate d, we would get d is equal to b square m plus c square n minus m n a divided by a square root. But that's harder to memorize. There's actually a mnemonic for remembering this, and that is d a d plus m a n equals to b m b plus c and c. And the way of remembering this is that dad is a man who put a bomb in the sink. But remember, you have to remember where each line segment lies. What is m and what is n? Because if you swap those, you'll get a different theorem. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.